No, my name is Dr. Hugh Kassir, and I'm a pulmonologist at uh, Northwell Health. Uh, we're going to demonstrate how to use the V60 BiPAP machine as a pressure-controlled ventilation in patients who have COVID-induced lung disease and patients who do not. So it could be used on everyone. Uh, Stanley John, my director of respiratory therapy, is going to go through starting the BiPAP machine on and doing the test. And by the end of this video, you're going to see how to have this set up in your individual hospital. Stanley, please take over. Yep. Thank you, guys. So this is a V60, your traditional non-invasive ventilator. We'll turn it on. We'll be using the traditional circuit. The first thing, we'll be changing the bacterial filter to a HEPA filter. Second, we'll be going into our menu. See the mask and port option, you hit it. Make sure it's very important that you change it to ET slash trach setting, which is the first option available. You accept it, then it takes you to the port section. Make sure it's other, port other, accept, and now you will be asked to do a circuit check. Disconnect the patient. All you need right now would be a T-piece adapter that will enable your conventional circuit to be used for invasive purposes. You attach the circuit, you attach your pressure line, the other end to the pressure port, occlude the circuit, leaving the exhalation valve open, start, Test passed, start ventilation. Now, currently you are in the ST mode, which is our BiPAP, our classic BiPAP setting. You go into mode, you have the option to select pressure control or AVAPS. In our case, we'll go with the pressure control mode. Make sure the settings, the IPAP, EPAP matches what's on your conventional ventilator, the rate, the I time, you can go back to one or 0.9. And once you hit accept, O2 as needed, 30, 40%, doesn't really matter. Accept and activate the mode. You are on a classic pressure control mode. And here we're gonna simulate this with a test line. I'm gonna introduce uh, Todd. He's our bioengineer. Uh, for those of you who may have difficulties finding the proprietary piece to connect this to invasive ventilation, uh, Todd Goldstein, who's our PhD for biomedical engineering, is going to tell you a little bit about how to compensate for possibly the lack of availability of this uh, piece. So if this piece is unavailable in stock, we have ways that we can 3D print a replica and make it available to you, where you would then, instead of using the... Uh, wrong one. Instead of using the proprietary, the uh, instead of using this piece, you would be able to slot out the normal circuit, instead of opening up a kit, where you can actually hook up the 3D printed piece, Thank you. which would then sufficiently work to support. And you can also connect another HEPA filter here if you need to. If any of you have any questions, uh, we will give you contact information at the bottom of the video. Thank you very much.